All right, yeah, I'm Ed Hicks. I'm the only Ed, I'm not the only Ed Hicks. There's there's that the banjo player and the guy who has the car. Um, I'm the I'm the only Ed Hicks in this video. Hi. Today today I'm, it's it's going to be mostly speed painting, trying to get it down as, as quickly as possible. No real bothering about brushes or or, or adding effects and or putting texture layers around or anything like that. Just st straight up improvise on the page. There we go. I used to be a graffiti character painter, and the thing that no one ever bothered with was the background. So I just started just painting backgrounds, you know, forgetting about the layers, forgetting about the characters, nothing identifiable in it. I got really into the spline landscapes of the mid-Gothic period. This is where people started painting the violence of nature, how it was really kind of gnarly and it was uh, dramatic and you got all these hard rains and the blasted heaths. The Gothic period kind of kicked off when this volcano erupted. God, I can't remember which one, but uh, the whole of Europe was covered with an ash cloud and there was rains and it was all dark and miserable the whole time. So this is where you get books like Moshe's Frankenstein coming out there. I grew up right outside Sherwood Forest, so I've always had a big thing about them. There's something primeval and creepy about the forest. If you get like being in a forest as the sun goes down outside, it's a subject I return to again and again and again. It's like, what are you trying to escape this thing, or are you part of the forest and you're, wa you're waiting for the sun to go down? Somewhere between victim and wealth. I don't know, but uh, both equally exciting. <laughs> We're just trying to fill up the world. We're just trying to put order onto some kind of chaos out there. The chaos is going to win eventually, but uh, just make an effort. Mm -hmm.